Okay, time to take a look at the Chanharm 160 amp welder. So we got our instruction manual. We got our grounding clamp and our electrode holder. And for the close, we can see that it is a star pattern electrode holder. So we can hold those electrodes at different angles. There's a nice big grounding clamp. One thing I really like to see is it's got that copper braid that goes from one side to the other. So that way, if it's making better contact on this side, it doesn't have to rely on that pin in order to make the contact to the wire. Got nice thick cables, which is always nice to see. And they connect with a standard twist lock. So there is the welder. It gets power with a standard 120 volt plug, so you can actually plug that into a household outlet, which is always great because if you're working in the field with a nice small welder like this, you just plug this in right there and get your welding done. We do have active cooling on the back, and we've got our on-off switch. And on the front, we can see we are marked. we got our positive on the top, we got our negative on the bottom. We have a dial to adjust our amps, we got a display, and an overcurrent indicator. One thing I really like about these welders is it has all the information printed right here on the side. So this can run at 110 volts or 220 volts. If you're on a 220 volts, you got 100% duty cycle at 120 amps, you got a 60% duty cycle at 160 amps. Then at 110 volts, you got 100% duty cycle at 85 amps and a 60% of 110 amps. So nice that we got all that information there. And it says in the instructions, we can use this with DC electro negative or DC electro positive. So you can choose whichever process you prefer. And to connect that, all we gotta do is line up the notch with the slot and give it a twist. Okay, so I got eight inch bar, go with 60 amps. Starts up real easy. So it started out a little cold and then it started actually heating up and soaking into the metal. So I think I'd start out a little bit hotter than 60. I'll try it again at say 76 amps. Yeah, super easy start. Well, an easy one to work. So there it is. And again, I think I started out a little bit cold, but then it started wetting into the metal there after it got a little bit hotter. So it kind of needs to heat up the surrounding metal to really make that work. I'm going to try that one more time. So that is a bit more like it. So all I did there was I increased the arc length a little bit to put a little bit more heat into the metal, and that soaked right in. If anything, I'd probably bring the amps down a little bit. But this has plenty enough heat to weld into eighth inch steel. And you can see we got plenty of penetration there. So yeah, that's an awesome little welder.